Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Matthew Palmer and this is Paint to Paper. Hi there and welcome to Paint to Paper. My name is Matthew Palmer and this is the place you want to be for learning watercolours. Literally starting right at the beginning and taking you through every single step of watercolour painting. So join me in my studio as we get started on the Matthew Palmer Beginner's Guide to Watercolour Painting. When you start out in watercolour painting all you need is just one or two basic pieces of equipment. I've got the paper there it's stuck down to a plastic board, this could be hardboard or something like that. It's round about an A4 size piece of watercolour paper and of course you can buy watercolour paper from any good art stockist. It's stuck down with a good quality masking tape there just to keep it nice and flat, keep it firm on the board. So the watercolour paper, very simple. The actual painting equipment, as a starting point, all you literally need is just a few basic colours. I've got Payne's Grey, which is a dark grey colour. This is great for using the, for the shadows. Cobalt Blue, which is a nice bright pigment colour blue. It's a very bright high colour. This is ideal for doing your watercolour summer skies. Aurelian, which is a light bright yellow. Fantastic for doing your grassy fields and your summer trees. Hooker's Green, which is a good average green colour for your summer trees and for your grass bankings, etc. I've got just a plate from the kitchen. No frills, just a basic, basic plate there. But of course, a paper plate will do. Or if you've got a proper mixing palette, even better. The paintbrush, I've got one paintbrush to start with. And this is the SAA All Rounder, which is around about a size 10 brush. And it's just a good brush that will do pretty much all the tasks for you in the first stages of watercolour. A plastic cup there full of water. And of course, some good old tissue. This is kitchen paper. It's not loo roll. This is the artist's best friend. So let's get started. This is the starting stages for you. This is your first watercolour painting. So no need to do any of the sketching or perspective or any of that business. Throw all that out of the window. We're starting literally right at the beginning. So let's get started with your first ever watercolour painting. Now we really are keeping it simple. I'm putting a tiny little bit of the cobalt blue there. Straight from the tube, just squirt it, blob it onto your saucer, and there's the Payne's Grey. And then the same with the Aurelian. Tiny little spot on the saucer. And as you can see, I don't need much colour, just a little teeny weeny spot. The hooker's green, don't need that one. Just the three colours for starting. So what I'll do now is mix some colours using the all-rounder. This is round about a size 10, so pop your brush into some water and then put some water onto your saucer there. And then the blob of colour, just pick up a little tiny bit of the blue and just work it into the water. And as you can see, it'll mix in. Now this is why watercolour is called watercolour, because you mix the paint with water. But then again, you probably knew that. So that goes in there, very simple, and you can see it's a very fresh, clean blue. I'm gonna do exactly the same with the yellow. Put a little teeny weeny speck of the yellow. Now this colour wants more water. So this is more water and less paint for this one. Make sure the colours are ready first before you do this. But very simply, I'm just going to put plenty of water onto the piece of paper. Now you can work flat on a table. I'm obviously working on an easel and that's so you can see at home to work to. The water goes on left to right, right to left, whichever way you prefer. And I keep sticking the brush in the water and then just working across very simply, very loosely. And again, I'll come to the top and make sure the top's wet so the whole piece of paper is nice and damp for this starting point. Sweep across, very simply, and it's absolutely saturated. Looking down the edge of the paper, I can see that it's all covered and I've not missed any bits. So a nice healthy blob of the blue, and then we can pop this straight on to the paper. So remember, this paper is absolutely soaking wet. Using the blue, I can just put a line straight across the top 
and you see how it starts to run that is exactly what you want to do in your watercolour painting so get a line of the blue and run it in and let it start to run down the paper leave a little bit of a white gap and then put a second line slightly below and again let it just run let it work down the paper let it do its thing now this is where it gets interesting because what we can do is we can start to move the paper around I can angle the board hold it with one hand with your second hand get the paintbrush and start just to sweep in some more colour but I'm holding it on the side and I've angled it this way and you can see that it's the direction is changing it's running in this direction as opposed to straight down now while this is still a little bit wet what I want to do is pick up some of the yellow some of the pale yellow it's 90% water for that one on the brush and then in some of the white areas or towards the bottom of the sky I can put some of this pale yellow now there's not much of that at all so that goes on while I'm still holding it on the side I can just sweep it across and I can start to connect it with the blue so it connects with the blue and again the paint's still moving it's still nice and wet I could even do that if I wanted to in fact I could even sling it up in the air if I wanted to and it wouldn't matter because the point is I want the paint to go in all different directions so every couple of minutes or so change the direction even upside down if you feel like taking a real risk keep moving it around but notice the yellow at the bottom is starting to give it rather a nice atmosphere it's making it more like an evening sky or a sunset so not just using the blue in the sky you start to see other colours, the yellows, even reds when you get into the watercolour painting so I keep moving the board around I mean it's still wet, it's still moving but you see it's starting to look more like a sky at this point and that's exactly what you want folks at home so what I'm going to do is keep turning it around and then eventually after three or four turns it's like cooking you see I'm going to pop it perfectly flat and leave it in the starting position and then grab a quick cup of tea let it dry for two or three minutes and then we'll carry on and put a little bit of a landscape on to make it look like a real polished and finished painting welcome back now when you've had your cuppa you might find it's still not really dry enough now obviously be a bit cautious about touching but you can see the shine on the paper the light shines on and you can see if it's dry or not so what I tend to do is use one of these things which is a hair dryer I pinched it off my wife but she's at work so we're fine what I want to do is give it a quick extra dry just make sure it's okay okay so that's nice and dry and what you may notice about your painting at this point is that it's slightly got little bits little spotty bits on your paper now that's the surface that's the way the paint settles and that's perfectly acceptable and it happens on all watercolour paintings on a textured surface because watercolour paper of course is a textured surface and this is exactly what this is now that's nice and dry so I can touch it and what I can do is put a little bit of landscape on because you can never really tell a sky until you put some landscape on so at the end of this you're going to have your first ever watercolour painting and you'll be absolutely satisfied and it'll leave you wanting to do more mm -hmm.